Well, hey everybody, I uh, wanted to take just a couple minutes and run through the Carbon Best Practices doc that I sent out the other day here on Slack, um, just to kind of walk through it a little bit more in detail. So on this first, first slide here, the, this is really the key to making this, the whole system work. And in this first section, triage slash to-do review, these are like 15 or 30 minute blocks that I have on the calendar, usually at the beginning of the day, something in the middle of the day, maybe right before or after lunch. And then again, at the end of the day to kind of close out the day. Um, now look, every day, obviously this, this may not be realistic every day, but it's at least a placeholder on the calendar. You know, there are, um, there are some days where I've, uh, just don't have as many things in triage, so I don't necessarily need to take the full 15 or 30 minutes, but this is at least a structure uh, to have in place. So what I do when I'm going through this is I clear any triage items that take less than three to five minutes to complete, just quick, quick, knock it out, you know, kind of clear it out then what should be left are really all those items that are going to be more of like a project. They're going to take, you know, 30 minutes or 15 minutes or an hour to complete. Then what I do is I go in and I assign that either as a to-do to myself or at, to, a, to another team member who needs to complete that. Um, after that, what I do is I review my to-dos in uh, Carbon, and then I block time on my calendar to make sure I knock those to-dos out and get them done. Um, you can also review to-dos that you've assigned to other people on the to-dos tab in Carbon. So that's another helpful tool uh, to use if you're if you're waiting on some other things that you've assigned out. And then every week I do a My Week planning where I just look at the My Week tab in Carbon and then I see what are the big pieces of work that I've got due this week. And I see, hey, maybe, th maybe there's a couple that are the due date is wrong and then I can go ahead and adjust that and um, everything should shift in Carbon to, to kind of clean my to-dos and clean the pieces of work up a little bit. I'll do another more in-depth video kind of walking through and pulling up my own carbon to show you kind of how I how I do this every every day. Um, <clears throat> to do's and comments. So um, you can kind of read through this in more detail, but essentially a to do is really when there's a clear deliverable or an action item. Um, this is where you can assign a to do to somebody else. Um, you can either assign this directly from triage or you can go into the to do tab and uh, specifically select or specifically add a separate to do. So um, if it's not an email, if it's not in triage, then you can go ahead and just add a, add a to do. This is really good for any ad hoc tasks that aren't already part of a, of a recurring piece of work. So that's really how I like to use this. And then I like to use comments. Um, again, these are you can you can you can comment on anything. the The best key for comment um, is to make sure you always tag the person uh, that you want to see it because then it's going to show up in their triage, and uh, they're going to get a notification on that. So I like to use comments for uh, you know just getting getting updates, kind of status updates, or um, adding additional information to a, a to do or to a work item or even to a triage item. So to, to kind of start building this system, um, I say system, it's really just making sure you have these re recurring reminders every week and every day. To, to, to do this, I find it most helpful to do a one-time cleanup. And then this is not fun, but it, what it's going to do is kind of level set. You're going to start, start fresh. Um, so what you want to do is go into your uh, to-dos and mark anything that's old or past due or done not past due, sorry, anything that's done, you just mark it as done, clear it out of there. That way you're starting with a pretty fresh to-do list. Then go into triage, clear out any any items that are done, um, or if they still, you know, if they're still waiting on an answer, if they're still waiting on uh, something that needs to be completed, go ahead and assign it to yourself or to somebody else as a to-do. But really you wanna make sure like to, the, to clean this up right away because this is gonna just make the system much more easier to manage. It's just like having an inbox that you got a thousand emails in. It's overwhelming when you look at it. If you're starting from 50, you know, if you're starting from 20 or 30 or whatever the number is, it's a lot easier to manage moving forward. So it really is worth dedicating, you know, 20, 30 minutes to, to go in and clear that out. Um, and then some best practices on the manager side, um, you can review to-dos assigned by me. Um, so that's helpful if you've, if you've got some to-dos that you've uh, assigned to other people and you wanna get a status update on it. You can also review the work tab, um, set a filter for your team. You can kind of see at a high level all the different work that's coming due. And then the other thing you can do is you can actually go in and, and review the number of items in triage. So that's on the insights tab and I've got directions here. That's just helpful to see that uh, if, any, if everybody on your team is kind of keeping up with everything.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave us some feedback. Also, check out our website, growthlabfinancial.com. Again, subscribe so you can be notified for the next one.